Quant Trade Edge, and uh, today is uh, Tuesday, April 9th, 2024. This is a daily chart of natural gas, and as you know, we've been in a huge downtrend. You know, this thing has been coming down ever since the uh, Ukraine war, since it peaked up here, and we're kind of down at historically low levels. And, you know, down at these levels, uh, you know, supply comes offline, uh, you know, there are other uh, you know, demand, certain demands pick up, you know, there, there's just natural fundamental things that lead to a bottom. But as you know, we follow the technicals, not the fundamentals here. And I want to show you the 4x trade we got into today that is up already about 5x, and I think it has more to run. So I'm blowing up the bars to make this very easy to read. Very easy, easy to see. After this huge cascade down, we had a two leg up move, which we know as an ABC. And remember that when we have a hoagie, which is two or more bars inside the range of one bar, which we call the mother bar, we don't count this as a down bar until something happens to either, you know, a bar break in the low or the high of this whatever happens in here is irrelevant. So, so this is this is our variation on GAN counting. So uh, we have a video entirely dedicated to GAN counting um, and our variation is not counting the hoagies within. So this ABC up got a marginal new low down here. It was barely a new low. It didn't want to go much lower uh, it reversed right away when that uh, when that happened, but uh, this move down is one wave here. Now, since that did go higher, that's an up bar. Inside is up, up. Outside is up. We have that, and then this last bar down is technically two legs. Without spoiling the uh, excitement of watching that GAN bar counting video basically a higher high and a higher low makes an up bar a lower high and a lower low to the next bar makes a down bar and whenever you have an inside or an outside bar it takes the label of the previous bar so uh, you know in a situation like this this is an outside bar so this is actually a down bar but then this has a higher low and a higher high so that's an up bar this is inside so it takes that label it's an up bar up bar this is outside it takes that it's also an up bar so that's why I've drawn this the way I've drawn it. Um, and it is an objective methodology. We, you know, uh, in our Discord uh, channel, uh, someone has gotten this already programmed into TradingView. So they have a TradingView indicator that does the GAN counting and it also, uh, did, you know, it also uh, leaves out the, um, the hoagies. It takes into account that I don't count the changes of directions within the hoagie. So basically, uh, you know, the technical definition of a trend reversal is a higher high, a higher low, and then turning down from there. So what is a higher high? A higher high is a, a high higher than the previous upswing. So in this case, this is down, this is an upswing right here. And, and really, we even got above this point here. This is, I think, 190 exactly. This is 190.6. Um, but basically, this last wave down, there's a wave up now larger than the previous wave down. So that is the first uh, signal that, you know, the bulls have some life. So we got that higher high. I'll just label it here. This is, and this is, you know, go look it up in Murphy or any of these technical analysis books. This is the definition of a trend reversal. A higher high, a higher low, and then you turn up from there. So if we take that across, that happened at some point today. And then what we'll do is we'll, you know, well, the next conceptual uh, move here is if trading were easy, all you'd have to do is take that buy stop and sit on it and this goes up to this this previous swing high at 215 um, trading's not that easy and also doing it that way requires you to use a stop of the low of day here 
which is 183.8. So you're talking about about a um, 183.8 to 190, about a seven cent stop, which is $700 per contract. What we do is if, if you've read um, Unknown Market Wizards, uh, that's one of the, the books in the Jack Schwager series, his first interview is with Peter Brandt, who is a legend you know, for his longevity in futures trading. And he just kind of mentioned how in the 80s, it was so easy. You take whatever breakout and it just works. And now he believes that at those levels of significant breakouts, algos become operative and they create noise around that. And one of the, the forms of noise that we figured out are two-legged ABCs. So if we draw our line in here, I think it was 1.906, which is where that uh, U-turn, uh, the daily U-turn triggered, it got up to here, and then this is the noise, right? If, if, if this was gonna go straight from the time it uh, you know, broke that U-turn level, then all you'd have to do is put your stop right here, leverage up huge, and make a ton of money. Um, but uh, we know that it doesn't work that way, so what we do from here is expect the noise. And what I like to do is go to that top of the uh, move and find your ABC. So that's one leg down here. That's one leg up here. And all of this is one leg down, and let's look at why. This is a down, uh, this is an up leg. This is a down leg, this is an up leg. So from this, this this whole thing is up, so that was an up leg. Now this became a down leg, down leg, down leg. Outside is down, inside is down. It's the whatever the last bar was. Down, inside, outside, down, 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 down. And it was only here that it changed to up, so this becomes your risk bar. You buy one tick above here with a stop one tick below here. And I'll take off these marks because I have an indicator that also does this. And I just want to show you that it's objective, you know, that this, this is programmed here. Right, this is our down leg right here, up leg. And then this entire thing is a down leg, which makes this bar our risk bar. Uh, someone had asked this before, and I don't know if I was able to cl clearly state it uh, you know, in the answer to a uh, comment, but you know, how do you know it's this bar? Well, really along the way, you would have thought it was this bar and then this outside would have stopped you out this outside bar and then we wait for a new low new low you know on each of these bars you would have set a buy stop here and it didn't get filled then you come down you set a buy stop here it didn't get filled then you bring it down you set a buy stop here it didn't get filled and then you come down you set a buy stop here it did get filled so have your stop in place for that trade So going back to this, and I'll take these lines off so you can just see the movement clearly. This risk bar was eight ticks in size. So that means your risk is 10 ticks because you buy one tick above with a stop one tick below. And this already has returned five times your risk up to uh, here somewhere. So this was eight ticks. I think it was 88.3. Uh, yeah, it must have been this. Nope, must have been... I guess it was here, 88.3, because I know because it hit that exactly, and I only got partials filled there. Um, then I waited a while, and I got more filled there. I was uh, selling out half here, because that's four times our risk, eight ticks, and this is 3.2 uh, cents. Um, but I think that we got a great risk bar, a great daily pattern in a market that's very oversold, so I'm holding half of my position for a bigger move. Um, I don't exactly know what that bigger is, bigger move is right now. Uh, you know, for now, I've gone ahead and set my target at this uh, swing high here, but I'll look at the action tomorrow, and I'll probably get out of it before EIA 
on Thursday because that can be a volatile uh, number that causes big movement. Um, but uh, that's basically our, our flagship 4x method. Um, I've got dozens of videos with examples on this 4x method. Uh, one thing that makes this example a little bit unique is we weren't looking at the break of the previous day high like we do in most of those videos. We were looking at the point at which we got the daily U-turn. And the concept is the same. That concept is that whenever there is a significant technical point taken out, look for noise, and that noise often is an ABC that you can catch. Uh, in fact, recently we had a video where the S&P, you know, the ES futures, um, tested that level at which the FOMC uh, news came out. And when it tested that level, it gave a very clean ABC and, um, you know, then returned 6R at that, uh, you know, uh, from that level. So, you know, the concept again is you're looking for a higher time frame significant technical event than a lower time frame noise pattern, which is often the ABC. Then you're getting in with the risk based on the lower time frame pattern. So like in this case, this is a 15 minute bar on natural gas and our risk is based on that. So our return for a daily U-turn could very easily be up here to this uh, 215 level. So you're getting daily sized return with 15 minute sized risk. That is the goal of this to create asymmetry in your trading. So um, I'll, I'll link the GAN bar counting video in here, and then I'll link the recent uh, S&P uh, 6R uh, video. Uh, maybe that'll help, uh, you know, or maybe I'll just link the other one. I have a, what I consider the flagship explanation of this 4X pattern. I'll put those two videos on the end slide of this. Um, and again, if, if this is the type of trading that you like and that you wanna learn more about, uh, come join our Discord. I'll put a link uh, in the video for that as well. And I hope you had a good day trading.